Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's final scroll saw project video of the year, I have another great design picked out by Steve Good, and it's our final Christmas design of the year as well. I've already got all the patterns printed out and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and the project in question calls for one quarter inch material entirely, so we're going to go on stack cut and make two and finish one in this video. And what's cool about this project is I made this project years and years ago for a Christmas gift for my pops, way before I, I even launched the YouTube channel or became the artisan pirate even so I really wanted to go back and make this project again just to see how my skills as a scroll saw artist woodworker and maker have evolved throughout the years and speaking of evolving I feel this channel has evolved this go around for 2023 and I thank you all for sticking with me along on the journey and I hope in some way shape or form I have brought something to the table and have inspired you to do something new maybe out in your workshops on the Monday videos or even on the Wednesday videos go out and see a new place in your neighborhood or community but I'm going to show you the design here before I show you the old one that I made and the design in question is going to be a little Christmas shadow box you guys know we've done the Christmas tree shaped one earlier this one is more traditional in the shape of a rectangle and it is a layered project so keep that in mind the front layer has the word Merry Christmas and a little puppy on it the next layer behind that is a little country church up on a hill so it's got kind of a spiritual vibe going on with it as well and that's really cool the next layer is a Christmas tree sitting out on a hill as well and then the back layer before I show you the layer I really like is some moonlit night with snowflakes falling so it's going to look really cool and make it pop with Santa and his reindeer now again I made this project years ago and I did not even cut out that front layer back then that said Merry Christmas because I was just getting well acquainted again with the scroll saw because you know I picked it back up in 2012 and this project here I made in 2016 again for my pops is a Christmas gift and I made this out of one half inch upcycled dresser drawer material that I had ran through the thickness planer and I used way too dark a stain on this I should have just clear coated it and let the natural wood and grain show through so again I want to go back in today's video and make this project again and fully with the word Merry Christmas at the front and hopefully do it justice I went and picked this up from my pops and this one was made in 2016 so keep that in mind so I'm really eager to see how the skills have evolved and I hope once everything is done, I've done this project justice, but since everything is prepared, let's move the camera and drill all the pilot holes required so we can begin the final scroll saw project of the year. And over here on the workbench, I am taking the Seiko Scrollers drill and drilling out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting and all five layers have internal cuts on them and you will see that I'm using a backer board behind the scroll work to prevent blowout of the pilot holes on the reverse side and that just helps us locate them when it's time to be over at the scroll saw. Over here at the scroll saw I am using a number five ultra reverse tooth blade for all of the scrolling on this project and they will cut through both layers of the one quarter inch material exceptionally well with minimal chip out which is always good when it comes time for sanding and finishing and keep in mind I'm stack cutting and making two of the same project and finishing one on video for you guys and I'll have the other one to finish in my leisure time and I always like to stack cut when I'm able to to produce multiples of projects going through here and doing the basic internal cuts on the layers before doing the final bigger internal cuts if you guys would like to try this pattern it's available as a free pattern download over at Steve Goods scroll saw workshop blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog and keep in mind it is an older design of his and you will see that I'm working on each of the layers here and this is why I like having an L-shaped workbench. I can easily set pieces aside and continue on without having to get up and move around. And when I get into that zone when I'm scrolling and I get lost in my world of sawdust, the time just flies by and I'll look at my watch and it will already be lunch time and I'll go in for lunch. But now we are doing the final larger internal cuts and I saved these for last because with the nature of this being one quarter inch material and having this frame around it to build up the shadow box these pieces become very fragile and this is just how I went about doing everything doing these final 
largest internal cuts last on the layers. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me across all my social media under the Artisan Pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. And I hope in some way, shape, or form this year, I have inspired you to try something new out in your workshops or go somewhere new out in your community or hometown. I have had an amazing time filming and documenting and making these videos for you guys. And I'm very excited for the new year. But now we are cutting out the top layer that has Merry Christmas. And keep in mind, when I made this project originally as a Christmas gift back in 2016, I did not cut out this layer because I didn't feel I was confident enough yet with my skills being rusty to cut out this. And this is why I wanted to come back and do this project justice and do it completely from start to finish. Because when I got away from scroll sawing, I got away from it for like eight or nine years, maybe even ten before picking it back up in early 2013. And the original project I made like this was made in 2016. I think that that year I made everyone in the family Christmas gifts that were scroll saw projects. But we are now coming along the little dog here and we will continue along. And the word Merry Christmas has some tight V turns in it so you will see me coming back and cleaning those up, getting that tight V point in the letters like the M and everything. But then it will be time to release all five layers from the waste wood and these are just four straight lines. All in all, it took me around an hour and 15 or an hour and 20 minutes to scroll everything out. But all five layers will be released in this manner. And once all of these cuts are done, all of the scroll work on the project will be complete. We are now releasing the final bagger board here. And those snowflakes were very tedious to cut out. I tried to put a unique spin on each one as I was cutting them out to make them all look a little different. But now that all of the scroll work is done, we can move over to the workbench and separate the layers. Again, we stack cut it so we have two projects here. And I will take one of them over to sanding. And I will use 180 grit cling spore sandpaper in the vibrating palm sander and sand the front and back of each piece, being careful with it because they are fragile. I didn't want to break anything. But then it will be time for assembly and I'm using medium grade CA glue and activator for the glue up here. And I'm using a two inch thick chunk of walnut there to help keep everything flush and lined up during the assembly process. You can go about the assembly in any way you like. But this is just how I felt I could keep everything lined up. And after everything was glued up, I still added weight to the piece and let it dry completely and cure for around five minutes. And then we went over to the belt sander and flush sanded all four sides. Just in case I was a little off on the cut line, I wanted to make sure everything was flush all the way around but then it was time for staining with Minwax Wood Stain and this is Golden Pecan and I like this shade because it's very light and allows the natural grain of the wood you're staining to shine through but after it was stained we wiped off the excess and hung it on a hook to dry and after an hour or so it was time for clear coating and finishing with Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss and when that dried, the project was complete.
And here we have the completed Merry Christmas Shadow Box cut out completely on the scroll saw. And it finished up amazingly well with some beautiful detail. Thank you, Steve Good, for another pattern from your pattern catalog. Once again, this is an older pattern from his catalog. I've done a lot of his older projects throughout this year and documented here on the channel. But everything came out nice and crisp. It took around an hour and a half to scroll everything out. And all five layers of the quarter-inch material layered together really brings this piece to life with some beautiful 3D effect. I just took my time as always and let the blade do the work. The most tedious parts for me to cut out were all of the snowflakes for the backer board there and the word Merry Christmas here. Of course with that being the front layer you want to make sure that one is as nice as possible. And with the snowflakes back here I tried to add a little different style into each one I cut out and I will bring it in there for you guys to see. And what I think would look cool for a project like this is if you put an LED strip on the back of it, it could emit a nice Christmassy glow for the Christmas season and everything. But I love all the great and cute details in this project. Of course you have the snowflakes in the moon for the backer piece, the church on the hill for the next layer. The next layer has the trees. The next layer has Santa and his reindeer going through the moonlit and snowy night. And then the front layer of course has Merry Christmas here with the little puppy at the front all encapsulated in what looks like a full and solid piece of wood. But it is five pieces of one quarter inch material. Now keep in mind I just use basic plywood here that I pick up the quarter inch material and I cut it out and we stack cut it and made two and I still got one to finish off camera but everything came out nice and I finished it with Minwax wood stain and Rust Oil and Clear Gloss to make the grain pop and everything and give it that nice finish of a glossy sheen there in the light and everything but I also think you could cut this out of hardwoods or exotic woods just to add a different flair to it and even if you were good with acrylic craft paints you could go in here and paint everything to really give it an added characteristic and versatility for scroll saw patterns I believe that certain layers of this could be their own standalone projects like with some of the other projects we've done this year I think Santa and his reindeer this is the other one we cut out I've still got to sand it stain it and assemble and everything to finish this piece but I think you could cut this piece out of maybe half inch or three quarter inch material and put a nice Christmassy or winter scene behind it and have this be a standalone piece or even enlarge this and not cut out the frame but have Santa and his reindeer for a yard decor piece so there's always options and versatility with scroll saw patterns as I said this project was a throwback so I want to show you the old one again so we can compare them here is the one I cut out in 2016 and here's the one we have cut out today December of 2023 so you can compare these and you can see the evolution of the workflow and the techniques and everything again I was just once again getting familiar with the scroll saw after taking many years away from it when I made this as a Christmas gift to my pops and this is the one we've made today after several years of skills evolving and I think the proof is right here that you do evolve out in your workshop and you do inspire and elevate everything that you do and I hope in some way shape or form I have inspired inspired, elevated, and hopefully educated you guys this year to maybe try something new. And I thank you guys for sticking along with me throughout the journey. Again, this is the final scroll saw project video of the year, but not the final, final video for the year. There is going to be one final video released Friday, and it's going to be a retrospective of just me out here talking and reflecting on the year and kind of a year in review. And I hope you guys continue to stick around and see that video as well, because I want to do maybe a few announcements in it and give some special shout outs in that video that I think will be well worth the watch when that video comes out. But for all of my followers and subscribers who just tune in to the Scroll Saw Woodworking videos on Mondays, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas 2023 and a Happy New Year 2024. That's about all for this one. I had a lot of fun making this project and going down memory lane thinking about the fast approaching Christmas season. If you guys are new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. As always, links to contact me as well as to all of my social medias will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. And remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.